In this tutorial, I will show you how to narrow the pocket opening on your Boston cardigan for a less drapey look. I have my Boston cardigan front piece laid out here on the table with the hem here at the bottom and the arm side here at the top. I also have my ever-present sewing companion, Milo, joining us for the tutorial today. I will be using an additional tool, Wash Away Wonder Tape. It is a quarter inch, double-sided tape that washes away in the laundry. I will be placing one small piece along each of the top notches. This simply acts as a basting stitch and helps hold my fabric in place while I sew. I'm going to fold my bodice from the hem up, lining up the notches, making sure the two bottom notches lay perfectly across the two top notches. Grab your hemline and fold up, lining up your notches. I'm simply going to press to adhere the tape, making sure the notches are lined up. Now I'm going to place a line with my fabric marker, um, just as a visual guide for you today. Um, you need not place a line unless you want. I'm simply going to draw on where I will place my stitches for this hack. I will be stitching inward from the notch approximately two to three inches, depending upon how wide you would like the opening of your pocket. Now, I love this fabric marker. It's actually just a regular pen. Um, you can pick them up at your local office store. It is called Friction, F-R-I-X-O-N, and it um, erases when you iron it. Simply apply heat and it disappears. Now, I'm going to be sewing along the marks that I made with a straight stitch on my sewing machine. I choose my straight stitch and my length is three. I'm simply going to begin at the notch and sew inward two to three inches, ensuring that I back stitch at the end of the stitch. This will be your pocket opening and you definitely want this stitch to be secure. I lower my needle and my presser foot. I sew forward and then back stitch and then sew along the marked line two to three inches stopping and back stitching again. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, except I'm going to be starting from the inside of the line I've made, working my way toward the notch, back stitch, sew with a straight stitch, and back stitch again at the notch. And you can see here where I have made my stitches along the marked lines. Now I'm going to fold the front back down, and there you have it. Your stitches are hidden. You have a more narrowed pocket opening. If you wish the pocket opening to be even more narrow, simply make your lines of stitching just a little bit longer than two to three inches.